What's up everyone, it's Tin here from Tutorials Hub. Now in today's video, I'm about to show you a real test on DeepSeek V3 and how you can use DeepSeek V3 for coding. So this is going to be a test and review and is this the best AI coding assistant out there? Now there's a lot of praise for DeepSeek and a lot of people are praising DeepSeek as the new ChatGPT destroyer. Now let's see if that's the case and if we can actually use DeepSeek for uh, coding. So uh, as you can see, I have here a Python IDE already ready, uh, and I also have HTML, CSS uh, IDE ready right here as well. So what we can do is we can start with very simple tasks. Now, funnily enough, I'm going to use ChatGPT for this. So we have beginner level tasks, we have intermediate level tasks, advanced level tasks, specialized challenges and then we also have a code that is broken and we need DeepSeek to fix it. So let's try with the first beginner level test and that is to write a program that prints numbers from one to 100. So as you can see, if we go here, we're going to do it like this and then write me this code in Python. Keep in mind that DeepSeek is really fast. So as you can see, it's writing the code, it's explaining how it works and then as you can see you can run this code in python environment so we copy this we just go here we paste it we run it and yes it's working as you can see so this is quite good right it's a simple task obviously uh, and yeah it, it just works it's it's fast and yeah very clean so okay we have that one let's go to the intermediate level test and that is to to do list create a simple command line to do list um, application that supports adding, viewing, and removing tasks. So we can go here again, write the code in Python. So we're writing it in Python, but again, you can use pretty much any language uh, inside uh, the uh, DeepSeek. Now, as you can see, it's writing the code, how it works. Now, I like the fact that DeepSeek, you know, other than uh, you know, other LLMs, they're not doing this, but DeepSeek is actually very detailed on the output. It also gives you how it works, which is really awesome. So I like the fact that you can do that. So uh, let's copy this right here and let's just go here, paste it right here. And as you can see, this is a to-do list. So we have a to-do list and we can add task one here. And as you can see, invalid choice, please choose the number between one or four. Okay, so now we can add a task actually uh, yeah, I need to go with two and then enter the task to add task one. And then as you can see, the task has been added successfully. So this is really good. We can view the to-do list as well right here, as you can see. So pretty good. Okay, this, this works really well. Okay, let's go to the next one. So this was intermediate level tasks. Now let's go to the advanced ones, right? Uh, implement and compare the performance of bubble sort, quick sort and merge sort. Chatbot simulation, write a chatbot that can respond to simple user queries based on predefined rules or patterns. So let's see if we can do this one. Write the code in HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Let's do this one. So overall, I can see that it is a little bit better than ChatGPT in some cases, in some instances. So we can see it's currently going through the CSS, JavaScript, as you can see, very good. Okay, so we have how it works, example interaction. Okay, so let's right now go and let's copy the HTML. So we're going to be copying HTML. We're going to be copying CSS, which I think is here. And then we're going to be copying also the JavaScript. So let me go here. As you can see, this is how it looks like. So honestly, the UI is also great. So I really like that. So as you can see, hello. Hello, how can I help today? Okay, I am looking for a property to purchase. Okay, so I guess, you know, it's it's not that advanced, but overall it does the job done. So that's something that I was really curious about. Okay, so this is really great. Okay, let's go to the next one, which is specialized challenges. So write a simple tic-tac-toe or snake using Python with JavaScript. Okay, let's do this one right here. So this is again a simple game like tic-tac-toe or snake using Python. 
So let's see how long it will take. So it's currently thinking. And as you can see, it does take a bit long on some advanced things like this one, right? Again, you know, we have to have some patience on that because it's a free model and a lot of people are using this model at once. Now, other things that we have is we have an incorrect code right here. So we have HTML and CSS calculator program. And so we have an incorrect code that we want to correct it. So let's see. Okay. So this one, if this happens, by the way, guys, what you can do is I always, yeah, the server is busy. So I'll go with new chat and I'll go with this one. And yeah, let's see if it will, if it will write this code. Okay. It will. So as you can see, it does take some time because again, everyone is using DeepSeek right now. It's pretty, uh, you know, it's not that surprising. So yeah, as you can see, it's drawing everything. Uh, we have check win player. Um, we have screen game. Okay. So as you can see, it's very detailed in the way it writes the code. And as you can see, we have the gameplay. So obviously I don't know if this will work actually on the, um, on the online IDE here. Uh, yeah, the model import uh, is not available at the moment. It will be available soon. So overall it does uh, create a game right here, which is really great. And it did in a very, very fast way. So I really like the fact that you can do that. So let's go with this one. So we have a, deliberately broken HTML and CSS calculator program. So let's obviously let's just go and let's paste. So this is just a, this is just like a, a, a HTML. So this is how it looks like right here. So if we go here and if we just remove this, right, this is, this is broken calculator. So what we can do is we can go here and we can say, there is a mistake in my code. Can you fix it? And then we'll paste it here. So let's see if we can find sure. I'll help you fix the issue. So as you can see, it's very fast. So uh, here's a corrected version of your broken calculator grid layout. The calculator buttons were not properly aligned, which yes, that's the, the, the case here. And then obviously we have missing buttons. We have equal button here. So let's just copy this. So let's see, maybe I think even uh, the DeepSeek added. Yeah, so DeepSeek actually added a better design to it as well, which is really awesome. So as you can see, obviously it's, it's not working. So that's one thing that I have to note. So the calculator is not working. The functionality is off. So again, you can see that again, even deep seek can miss, but overall it's a really, really great, um, or actually I think maybe I, I copied. Yeah. I think I copied the wrong code, honestly. So let's just see copy. Okay. Yeah. I actually copied the wrong code. My bad guys. So again, this is good. So yeah, it, it looks good. Everything looks good. So let's just pause this again. The server is busy and uh, yeah, let's just do another. Um, can you give me another challenge to challenge this LLM? Okay. So random code generator with API. Obviously that will be impossible because we don't have the API. So what I can do is I can say, can you create a snake game in with HTML, CSS and JavaScript, but make it feel premium with better design and premium features. So let's see what it can do with this one. Uh, I would really love to see how it is in terms of programming the games. So again, um, yeah, here we'll create a snake game with HTML. So as you can see, we have first HTML, uh, folder. We can also run HTML. Keep in mind, we can also do that within DeepSeek, which again, something I didn't mention before. I will show you how you can do that as well, which this is something you cannot do in chat GPT. Keep in mind, uh, again, another fun fact. So let's see. Okay. We have this right? So we have features, high score, how to run. Okay. So 
yeah, you can actually go here and you can run it. And as you can see, it runs inside of DeepSeek, which is really awesome. So we can start the game here, right? But as you can see, it's actually not that great. So let's just go copy. Let's paste it here. Let's copy the CSS. I think that's because we don't have the CSS. Yes, we don't have the CSS, but overall you can run HTML inside of DeepSeek. I'm about to show you one more thing before we end off here. So let's just go here to JavaScript and let's paste it here. So we have start game. So as you can see, we can go and we can, with arrow keys, we can basically go and use this. So as you can see, this is how cool it is, right? So Again, that's something you can do with DeepSeek, right? So it's game over right now and then I can start game ag again. So um, yeah, overall you can always run uh, HTMLs. That's something I wanted to stress is uh, inside DeepSeek, which is really awesome. So let's say you wanna uh, create like a, create me a simple calculator inside HTML. So as you can see, or actually what I'll do is I'll open a new chat, create me a simple calculator inside HTML without JavaScript or CSS. And let's do what it, uh, let's see what it can do. So yeah, it will probably, yeah, okay. It is a little bit slower again, but here we can run this inside DeepSeek, which is really awesome. So um, yeah, this will be just for the end of the video, just so I can show you. Overall, this really beats a lot of other models in terms of uh, how fast they are, how efficient they are. As you can see, we have it right here inside of DeepSeek, which is really awesome. So that's something you can do as well. So we've kind of went through quite a lot of uh, things uh, in terms of the coding side of things. So again, um, I think if you want to try this for a uh, model LLM, specifically uh, this DeepSeek V3 model for coding, I think it would be really great alternative to Claude Sonnet, uh, you know, other like uh, ChatGPT, uh, Codestral and other like, um, you know, models like that. I think this really is a good uh, coding model as well. Now, obviously you can also try DeepSeek model uh, R1, which is, this is more for reasoning problems. Uh, but yeah, if you just want a simple, um, you know, coding assistant, then I think DeepSeek V3 is the best one, which is without, you know, this one right here. So yeah, again, guys, if you want to see more DeepSeek tutorials on our channel, I even made a comparison between DeepSeek and uh, ChatGPT4, uh, then you can go and you can check that out on our channel. And for more AI video tutorials, subscribe down below, comment down below what you think about this video, and we will see you in the next video.